Beginning sound sort is a really fun game. We listen to the first sound of something's name. Can you hear a、ah, ah, apple or b b bat? Can you hear d d donut and c c cat? Get ready to listen. Turn your ear this way, and we'll sort some words. Come on, let's play. All right, my friends. One, two, three. Let's sort the pictures that you see. Hmm. I see an alligator. Do you see an alligator? A a alligator. Listen. A a alligator. What sound do you hear at the beginning of alligator? A a. Alligator, yes. Letter A. One, two, three. Now, what do you see? Oh, do you see the train? T t train. T t train. What sound do you hear at the beginning of train? Oh, t t train. Yes. Letter T. Train begins with t t t. Okay, one, two, three. What do you see? A a abacus. Do you see an abacus? Yes, an abacus is that little frame with all the little beads that we slide over and count. That's an abacus. And listen carefully. A a abacus. A a abacus. Abacus. Begins with letter A, like our alligator friend. A a alligator. A a abacus. Letter A. Hmm. One two three. What do you see? An a a apple. We know the apple because an alligator ate an apple. <laughs> It begins with A. A a apple. Hmm. Okay, here we go again. One, two, three. What do you see? Hmm. Do you see the turtle? T t turtle. T t turtle. Listen carefully. T t turtle. Yes, it begins with T. Let's look again. Oh, what do we see? Oh, an a. Ambulance! Oh no, it's an ambulance. Listen carefully. A a ambulance. Ambulance begins with the same sound that we hear for alligator and apple and abacus. Yes, letter A. A a ambulance. It's not a t t, t ambulance. No, no, it's an ambulance. All right, here we go. One, two, three. What do you see? And I'm looking at my list. Yes, indeed. Oh, do you see a tree? A t t tree. Yes, tree begins with letter T. Let's look again. What's that, my friend? Ah, do you see the? Tiger begins with letter T. Great job! Here we go. All right, my friend. One, two, three. Is there another picture that you see? Oh, I see an ant. A a ant. A little tiny ant. Have you seen an ant crawl across the ground? To find little things to eat, an a a ant. What sound do you hear? A a ant. Yes, our little ant friend. He begins with a a a ant, like a a alligator, a a apple, a a abacus, a a ambulance, and a a ant. It's not a t t. Tan? No, it's an ant. 
They all begin with ah. One, two, three. Look and see. There's only one more picture, and it begins with yes, T, because it's our T Rex friend. T, T, and his name gives us a clue. T, T, T Rex. T, T, T Rex. Yes, it begins with T. Do you remember our T Rex friend with the T, T, T? Yes, T, T, T Rex starts with T. That was really great work. Good listening, my friend. Watch for more videos. We'll sound sort again. Here we are with Sailor Jane. She's been to pre-K this morning. She's had her lunch and had a little rest time. And now we're going to do some sound sorting. So, Sailor, what tubs do we have here on the table today? We have A and T. A and T. And inside of these tubs, these t -t tubs, there are little items little things that start with A and start with T. Sailor, would you like to take the lids off and dump them in a pile on the table? We also have our letter A and T sound sort page, beginning sound sort page that you can print at the link below this video. Okay, Sailor, kind of mix up that pile of things there that you dumped out of the A and T tab. So we're gonna mix them up and then Sailor's going to pick them up one at a time. She's going to tell us what it is, say the sound at the beginning, and she's going to place it in the A column if it starts with A, A, or A, and the T column if it starts with T, T. All right, go ahead. Um, what do you want to pick up first? This. What do you have there? A tiger. Say the sound at the beginning. T. It goes in letter T. Yeah, t -t tiger begins with letter T. The beginning sound is T. What do you have now? I have an acorn. Acorn. Now, A is one of those special letters called a vowel that sometimes says its name and other times says its sound. A, -a, -a is the sound for short A. And A, its name, is the sound for long A. So what do you have there in your hand? The acorn. Where does the acorn go? Um, on the A side or the T side? It goes on the A side. Very good. At the top, you see our a a alligator and our T-Rex. Okay, pick another item. Okay. Quick uh, pick, quick pick. What do you have? I have little T. Oh, where will little T go? Right here. Right there on the T side. Very good. Oh, she can put it right on top of the little T there. Okay, next. Next item. What do you want to pick up? Um, this oh. is a apron. What sound do you hear at the beginning of apron? Ah, ah. Oh, that would be an apron. No, a. Yeah. A short A would be apron, but we call it an apron, so it has the long A sound. So where will that go? Um, um, in the A. Yep, in the A. Now, what we're doing right now is practicing phonemic awareness skills, the ability to hear individual sounds in words, and, and we're focusing on the beginning sounds today. Okay, pick up something else. Yep, quick pick. Let's do it quickly for our friends at home, because then you get to cut and paste. Okay, what do you have there? I have a tomato. Tomato, what sound you hear at the beginning of tomato? Tomato. Tomato, what letter? T. T, where does it go? Right um, there by the tiger um, and the T Rex. Um, the by when, with T. Yep. Because it's T. Because it's T. Okay, pick, quick pick, quick pick. What do you have? I have an apple. Beginning sound? Ah, ah. Apple. Ah, yeah, where does it go? Show us where it goes. It goes in the A part. In the A. Ah, ah, apple. Very good. Quick pick, quick pick. We say quick pick. So we pick up the next item quickly. Oh, what do you have there? I have gum. Oh, gum. what are those? No, white? teeth. Yeah, we're, we're looking at those white pearlies. T, 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 
cheese. What sound do you hear? I hear it. Where does it go? Yes, I go with the teapot. Yes, with the T-T-T-T-Rex. We sang about the T-Rex's teeth in an earlier video. <laughs> now we've got some human teeth. Okay, next pick. Yeah. Oh, what is it? A turtle. What sound do you hear at the beginning? T-T-T-Turtle. Turtle. Okay, where does it go? It goes in the letter T. Excellent. T-T-Turtle. T-T-Turtle. T-T-T. Quick pick, quick pick, what's your next thing? Oh. Ant. Oh, an a, a, ant. What sound do you hear at the beginning of ant? I hear a, a. What letter says a? A. Good, where does it go? In the letter right here. Yep, right here by the apple on the alligator. Very good. Quick pick. Oh, we have another a, a, apple. Where does it go? That's an uh, apple. Letter A. Okay, quick pick. I have the alligator. Oh, we know what sound is at the beginning of alligator. Ah, ah, alligator. Yeah. A. Ah, ah, apple alligator. Show us where it goes on your paper. It goes. In the letter A part. With the letter A. Okay, next. Quick peek. What is that little thing? It's a chur uh, a turkey. What's the beginning sound? Can you hear it? T -t -t -t. Turkey. T -t -t turkey. What letter? Turkey. Um, T. Yep, letter T. T -t -t. Oh, our A and T columns are getting very full of things that begin with A and T. Okay, what else do you have up there? I have a T owl. T owl, I like how you made that T sound. T T towel, where does it go? It goes in the letter T part. Yep, very good. Okay, just a few more things over here. Oh, what is that? A tongue. A tongue. Show me your t -t tongue. <laughs> That's very funny. Where does the t -t tongue go? It goes in the T. With the T things. Okay, what else is up there? Do you know what that is? It's a hook. Oh, it's yes. It, hold it up so we can see it. It looks like a hook. It's actually. Oh, no, no, no. Do you know what it's called? They drop it out of a boat. It's attached to a rope, so the boat doesn't float away. Um, it's a hanger. Close to a hanger. It's called an anchor. Anchor. What sound do you hear at the beginning oh. of anchor? I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. Hanger is very close to anchor. I know that's what you were thinking. Can anchor. you hear that long A anchor. sound where A says anchor. its name? Anchor. 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 Very good. Where does the anchor go? In the letter A part. Yes, because sometimes A says A, and once in a while it says A, like anchor. That's its name. Those, those magic letters called vowels say their names sometimes. Okay, what else do you have there? I have um, Big T. Where does Big T go? Okay, there you go. The piles are getting high. Two more things up there. It's big A and little A. Big A and little A. Big A, little A. Ah, ah. Alligator. Ah, ah. Apple. Apple, very good. Of course, they're gonna go on the A side. Good thinking, Sailor. Your brain is learning to hear the sounds, each of the sounds and words. And today we're working up on the beginning sound. Very good. Now, for cleanup, Sailor can sort them back in the tubs. She gets another time to practice this skill. And I think she can do this very fast. Time, we're gonna do it speedy quick. Pick up the items, say the name, and quickly put it in the tub as fast as you can. Ready, go. Turkey. Acorn. You're so fast. Apron. Good, you're so fast. Apple. Nice. Anchor. Nice. Alligator. Yes. T. 
towel. Great. Tea. Apple. Little and big. A. <laughs> Turtle. Tongue. You're so smart. Tomato. Her brain knows those sounds so quickly. And tiger. Little T and T. Oh, that was so fast. That was less than a minute, Sailor, to sort all of those. Thank you so much for your help. Now I want to do rainbow reading. Rainbow reading. You're so excited for that, aren't you? Yeah. Thanks, Sailor. Okay, here we are with Sailor. We're doing part two of the sound sort. Now, you will notice... Two. two. Yeah, part two. We have our sound sort sheet with A and T. Yeah. And on this... And, and, and um, if you cut it in half, yeah. it would be equal. They would be equal? Yeah. They, they would. would be cut it off. Because it's designed to be half A and half T. You're exactly right. Now this picture right here that you see in the download below is actually to be used um, for sound sorting A and T and R and B. We just put it, um, put both on one sheet for economic reasons, of course. So but, we're, Sailor, but we're gonna do this part right now. Yes. Not this part. Not on we're me. gonna save it for later. Yes, exactly. So Sailor, what we need you to do is take your scissors and cut down this black line because we're gonna save the bottom half for another day when we're start sorting R and B. And you can see how Sailor's grip is on her scissors. Her thumb is on top and her other fingers are in the bigger section of the scissors on the bottom. And this way she's able to control as she cuts on that black line. You're doing a great job there, Sailor, cutting so nicely, so straight. So just encourage your children at whatever they level they are as they cut these pictures out. She is, you know, first of all, she's just dividing the paper in two. And we'll be saving the bottom half for another day when we do sound sort for B and R. Excellent. Okay, great, Sailor. Now, can you hold up the top half that we're going to use for just a minute? Okay, you can see. Oh, she's really holding it up. You can see that we have A words and we have T words or A pictures and T pictures. So now put it on the table and let's go and um, let's name the pictures really quickly. Do you know what this is right here, Sailor? Uh, no, I that forgot. Is, that is called an abacus. 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 The abacuses are at school. Yes, I bet you've seen one. They help us count and, and add. And, and they have one at your house. Yes, we do have an abacus. It's a really fun word. And what sound do you hear at the beginning of abacus? Ah, ah. Yes, ah, ah, abacus. Okay, the next words of the next picture is easy. Um, it's an apple. Um, that is a tiger. That's a T-Rex. That's an alligator. That's a tree. That's an ant. That's a police. No, 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 no. I'll give you a clue. It starts with a, a. I'll say this sounds very... Ambulance! Yes, amb. Bu, am, bu, okay. This is a choo choo train. Train. We're just going to say train because choo choo starts with different letters than t t train. And what is this? Train. This is um, a. Da, 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 turtle. Okay, so the first thing Sailor's going to do in this activity is cut out all the pictures on the lines. And then after we, she does that, she'll hold them up, say name the picture, and glue it on the right, correct side of her paper. Now this is a great activity if you at home do not have sound sort tubs um, like we showed in our previous video. This is can a great I cut? option. The, yes, you can start cutting. The pictures are really colorful and fun and then your child is able to glue them on the paper and do pretty much the same thing that we did with the, um, with the sensory, with, I'm sorry, with the sound sort tubs. But now we're just using paper and fun pictures. 
Okay, we're zooming in on Sigler, who's doing very careful cutting. What are you cutting out there, Sigler? I'm, I'm cutting out, um, I forgot what the name was. Ab. Ab. Abacus. Abacus. Abacus, yes. If your child forgets the name of a picture, you can slowly say the sounds, and it's good practice for your child to blend the sounds together. You see, Sailor just did that. I said the sounds, and then she was able to tell us the word. It's a very important phonemic awareness skill that really um, gets your child ready for reading. So okay, this there's the why don't we just put them up here until you've got them all cut out. Okay. And so this is part A, mm -hmm. and I'm going to make a stick up there, and I'm going to make a stack up there. Oh, she wants to sort them right now. Okay. <laughs> I guess you could, if you want to sort them right now, Sailor, you could just put it right here for now. Yeah. Okay, cut the next picture. Tell us what you're cutting out now. I'm cutting an apple. Oh, what sound do you hear at the beginning of apple? Ah, ah. Yeah, what letter? A. A. Let's say all the sounds in apple. A. P. O. How many sounds are there in apple? A, 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 P, E, P, P, O, L. How many sounds is that? A, P, O. Um, five. A, P, O. Three sounds, yes. Sometimes words have more letters than sounds, and apple has three sounds or three phonemes in it. Just to me. Okay, now you may stop the video, parents, and have your child start cutting and sorting the pictures, or you can leave the video on, and they can cut and sort along with Sailor, however you would like to do it. Um, is great, just as long as you're there supporting your child. And I want you to still video. Okay, I'll keep videoing. And maybe maybe some children want to watch you do it. Some Maybe some of them have the paper in front of them, and they're cutting out the pictures as well. And they're saying the beginning sound and choosing which section or which column to place the picture. And hopefully they have a teacher or a parent or a brother I'm or sister helping them. I'm going to kindergarten them. in August. Yes, you will be coming, going to kindergarten this year. I think, I think I will, I think I will have lunch at kindergarten or not. Oh my goodness, do you think? I think so because I'm at preschool. At preschool you have snack? Yeah. But in kindergarten, you'll have lunch? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And it's going to be a long day with kindergarten. You know, some states have all-day kindergarten, and some have half-day where... Hey, guess what? Jack, Jack and I was sick. Oh, he is. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, he, he, was, he was going to school, and then he came back because he was sick. Oh, I'm, that is sad to hear. I'm so sorry. Tell us what you're cutting out now. The T-Rex. Ah. T -t -t T-Rex. What sound do you hear at the beginning of T-Rex? Oh, my brain's telling me it's a little sad. <laughs> Your brain is telling you it's sad? Yeah. My cousin Jack, that's sick. Oh. That's a nice thought for your brain to have. That shows compassion or kindness to someone who's sick that you love. Okay. Well, I played with Macy today. She's not sick. No. It's not going. Jack's not going to Avery's show because he's sick. Oh, I see. He might be, but I don't know. Okay, Sailor, tell us. Are you about done cutting out that T-Rex? What sound do you hear at the beginning? T-T-T-Rex. T-T-T-Rex.
and scissors. Well, I wish there was this on there because these are scissors. Yes, and maybe our best keeper will have some. What, do you, what sound do you hear at the beginning of T-Rex? <laughs> so will it go on A? No. Oh. Why is the tiger on there? I don't know. Why is it? It's not a tiger. It's a tiger. There you go. <laughs> Silly me. Silly you. We've got T-Rex and t -t tiger over by letter T. And a, a, abacus and a, a, apple under letter A. So what are you cutting out now? I'm cutting out the ambulance. The a, a, ambulance. So children at home, just take a, take a look at the picture that you're cutting out right now and slowly say the sounds in that picture and then Choose the beginning Oh, I sound. messed up a little bit. Pick the beginning sound. I messed up a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. You're, you're practicing skills that are very good, and you're doing a great job. Thanks. You're welcome. Got some treats. If you want to have a cookie party, you can make some valentine's time. Mm. And stick it in right the cookie. Yeah, Sailor's excited to have a cookie party tonight and a little bit of a... We're going to play a game and eat some c -c cookies. C yeah. C cookies. And, and -book I'm going to stay up late to have the cookie party. Mm. A little bit later, yes. Okay. What have you cut out there? I cut out an ambulance. Okay. Hopefully, boys and girls at home, you're having a great time cutting out your pictures. Well, they're not, well, they can't see the video yet, though, because we're not giving them the cards yet. Well, when we put this on the TV, then they'll have the pictures. They will either print them out at home, or their, their parent will, or they will just look, watch you cut out the pictures and they'll think with their brains, oh, I know that's an a, a ambulance and that it starts with a, a, a. What are you cutting now? An ant. Oh, an ant. Can you say the sounds an ant? A, a, a. What's the next one? At. Is it an at? At. There's a middle sound. That's oh, what was that sound you just made? Yes. What's that sound? An. An. T. T. Yeah. You can spell words when you say them slowly like that. Do you? Huh. How about we cut the letters out too? You can do and put that. Them on here. That's a great idea. That's um, a great little idea. T might be a little hard, but I can do it. You can bit. cut them out together. Just draw, just cut a box around them. Well, so you... I want to cut them out like like that. Okay, Sailor's cutting out the letters now. She still has some pictures to cut out, but she wants to cut the letters too. Okay, she's kind of cutting around a little A. There you go. There little you go. A. Little A. Oh, she's putting it right on top, kind of like it's a puzzle. That's kind of a clever idea, Sailor. You're gonna love this part. Oh, now you have what? A big A. Oh, big A. Big A in her hand that she's cutting out. I'm gonna cut the right size of it. Oh, she's yes. doing lots of detail cutting. <laughs> so. Okay, where does that go? Go. 
little piece right there. Oh, I'm just going to leave it right there. Okay. <gasps> Boop! There you go. She got Big A and put it on her Big A. Awesome. Popped it on the Big A. Okay. And I'm going to make a square for a little T2. Oh, she's cutting out the T's now. Get really close so I can children can see you cut a little T. Just cut in a square around little T. There it goes. Boop. Boop. And now I'm gonna do excuse me. Now I'm gonna just do a T. Oh, you're going to cut right next to it, right on the lines. That's very difficult. I know how to make a tea with a crayon. So I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to finish. What happened? Da -da. Okay. Hey, where are you going to put that big T? This big T is a little short. Well, I think we can still show that it's a T. So you can do it however you want on your paper. I'm going to home. do the letter T first. Okay, so we'll zoom in in a minute. We'll peek in in a minute and see how Sailor's doing with her gluing. Okay, Sailor, tell us how you're how you're doing the glue. Let oh, what kind? Of, oh, she's using the clear glue. Oh, look at that! Tell us about what you're doing. I'm slip sliding the glue. Oh, she's slip sliding the glue around. Mm. She squeezed a little dot in the middle of the picture, and then she's so slip watch, sliding. Wa watch how okay. I do it. All right, we'll watch. So how you if do it. I put it at top, mm -hmm. boop. Oh, at the top. Okay. I slip slide it. And look at it slide. Oh, it is slip sliding. <laughs> well, that's one way of doing it. And children and at home, you can do the slip slidey glue technique that Sailor does, or you can do your own technique, gluing technique. I actually got way too much glue, but that's fine. Yes, that's fine. Now, I'll show you how I do. This is a cool trick to do the type. Okay, show you. So when you put it on the side. Oh, I'm trying to see how you're doing it. Oh, she's doing like a curly, curly, curly. We walk. Go, glue, glue, glow. Glow. There you go. Look out the glue. Oh, guess the family's home. It's okay. We're doing some sound sorting. Sailor did a lot of cutting out of pictures. She's almost done gluing all of T. Letter T pictures. That. On the letter T, 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 T Rex side. That. How was the car wash? That. It's oh, it's closed. Oh. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Oh, you did five dots. Five dots of glue on this one. I see. Ooh. Ooh. And it's going to drip right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, now. Did you glue on the tiger? Oh, you did. You got all the letter T. I guess I messed up. How'd you mess up? Because I did that. Did what? Did that? I was no, no. I did. No, 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 you didn't. Yes, I did. I don't. Oh, I made a big splash. Oh, you know what you could do? You could take your finger and you could go like this. 
dot. No, that's that won't work. Oh, it won't work. Okay. You only slip slide it. It's not cool. Ah. Oh. We'll move the ambulance. Okay. Just fix the abacus how you want it to be. There you go. Okay. I'm just gonna put glue on here. Oh, well, this is another idea. Just put the glue on the paper, and then you're gonna stick the picture on. Yeah. Well, there we go. Your brain has figured out another way to do it. Another way to do it. Maybe it's an easier way. And you know, I think your glue will find your brain will also find out that you don't need a super big dot of glue. It doesn't have to be super big. Do you like this way better? Just putting it on the big paper. It's a little easier and less messy, isn't it? That's a yeah, good idea so for your this friends. this is what I'm doing. Oh, she's making four dots for the alligator. Uh, are they are they too far apart? Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait. There we go. Okay. Oh, she's covering up the extra glue. What a brilliant idea. So it doesn't drip? Is that why? She's using all these scraps to cover up the extra glue. I think that's really good problem solving, Sailor. Really good problem solving. Look at that. That is a fantastic sound sword sheet for How did this get glued? Oh. I don't know. Now it's cleanup time. Yeah. Sailor just remembered she wants to put the letters on the letters. A on A. Little A on little A. <coughs> okay, little big A. Big A. Okay, I think that's plenty. Very good. No T too. Okay, she's putting big A on big A. Now, if you, that's, this is kind of an advanced cutting skill for a little one. So just help your child do the cutting that works the best for them. Ooh, that's a lot of glue for that little T. Oh, it's a good thing it's got a big piece of paper. Okay, and big T. And now that now we've had a really good um, phonemic awareness activity. Sailor, thank you so much. I think we better help your mommy with the little babies. Get them ready for bed. Let me get an idea. Okay. Oh.